guys, it's Mina. How are you? Welcome back. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the garden today. And uh, it's the day after 4th of July. So everything's nice and quiet. And of course, as soon as I said that, the jackhammer started up in the distance. But I'm not going to let that get to me. We're going to be painting another beautiful piece today. Attempting for some little gold cells with a couple of variations on the ones I did last time. This is a 20 by 20 a level three gallery wrapped canvas and so instead of doing black today we are using Arteza paints except for one the one that is not Arteza is uh, this gold which I will tell you about in a second but I'm gonna start getting my base coat down because of course I took too long mixing and now the Sun has come out and now it's bright but we're gonna go with it so I'm gonna put my base coat down um, I have poured it into two cups so that I could thin it out because I noticed last time my base coat set up really, it was too thick already, right from the get-go. So actually, before I put the base coat down, haha, see, I'm going to fill up my cup so that's ready to go so once my base coat is down, I can just pour. So the color that I'm using first is, these are Arteza, this is their Payne's Gray, beautiful color, nice deep, and I'm also using that as my base coat, which I will do. Then I have their Thalo Green, or sorry, Thalo Blue. Look what the, uh, okay, I just can't talk. This is Arteza Thalo Blue. And you notice everything is thin. Nothing is leaving a mound, it's sinking. My friend the wind is here blowing my paint around. I hope you can see that. So, then I have their Violet, which I really liked the other day. lighter than it should to me. I don't know why. I even actually put a drop of black in there to darken it up, but it's still a little, that's okay. It'll be pretty. It's a beautiful color. And then this is the soft gold. This is a new one I found in my box of Deco Art Gold that wasn't the 24 karat. It's called the soft gold, which is pretty. So that's the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics soft gold. All right. So first one we're going to pour in our cup is the Payne's Gray. This is a 20 by 20 canvas. I should need about two and a half cups of paint total. So if I have one, two, three, four, five colors and two and a half cups of paint, that's about half a cup for each color. I am going to go heavier than half a cup. I'm probably going to put a whole cup of the Payne's Gray in. My colors are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. I'm going to do this while I talk. So. Let me just say that. Gloss medium and varnish and the paint. And then I stir that up till it's like a thick paste. And then I add a little bit of water at a time, probably about 20% total, 10%, between 10 and 20% water until it's about the consistency I want. It's a little bit thicker than I want. And then I add my Floetrol, which is probably the, the rest of the half a cup. These cups are, I think the 12 ounce. So these are 12 ounces of paint. So that's about, let's see, six ounces before the flow troll. So that's probably three ounces of the pouring medium and three ounces of the paint. And that first, then I add the water and then I add the 50% float or half the other half of the cup in flow troll. Okay, so here we go, let's do this. So I'm gonna put about a cup in here, Payne's Gray from Arteza. That's fine, that's gonna be great. Yeah, just under a cup. All right, so I don't wanna put the purple next to the green. So I'm gonna put in the purple first. I'm gonna put in about half a cup. So just under one and a half is where we should end up. There we go, we're at one and a half cups now. Now I'm gonna do the, oh, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of gold in. It's like one swirl. Now I'm going to do the blue, so we are going to get to almost two cups. I'm going to do the green. I'm going to go light on the green, just because I'd rather... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the green on the side, so it stays on the surface. Now it's sinking anyhow. All right. So 
So yeah, we're at two and a half now and I haven't put the gold in. That's right, I'm still gonna put my gold in and I'm gonna float some on top. If it'll stay on top, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's pour our base coat really fast so it doesn't dry up. So obviously, if you have a choice, do not pour in direct sunlight. If you can pour in shade, do not pour in wind. Like I am doing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Base coat. I'm gonna do this fast, and once I put the paint down, I'm gonna do that fast also, because I wanna. The stuff starts to sell quickly, so you wanna get it spread out before it starts to sell up. That seems to be the one of the key things here with this. And again, I am working fast because I am outside and my paint will start to set up every time the wind blows. It gets a little drier. <laughs> but that's okay, you know, I, I'm good with that. I'd love, I love to be out here. I chose to be out here. We just moved here to this house a couple of months ago and, you know, when we looked around and decided where I wanted to paint I definitely chose this spot in the garden because I love it you can hear the birds chirping and singing and tweeting away okay. almost there and I'm just giving this paint something to slide on when it's moving but see it's good it's nice and covered the canvas is not moving too 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 much but it is moving a little I'm just going to pour a little bit more on that corner, but I want to save some just in case. Set it up. All right. Beautiful. So let's do this. Ooh, wipe my hands. That's pretty. Got some bubbles in there. Okay, I am not going to torch the background because that'll just make it set up all the much faster, and I don't want that. So here we go. Straight pour, dirty cup into the center, up high. So as I'm pouring, gravity is pour mixing my paint. See all those little bubbles that are coming up? Yeah, this is way more than enough. That's good. I'm actually not unhappy about that, but okay. I'm gonna catch that because I don't want it to get too concentrated in the center. So that's pretty. I'm having some leveling issues with this table today, so I'm just keep tilting it back that way a little bit. Funny before it was tilted, so that side was never level. Okay, I'm gonna torch it really fast. I'm not gonna torch the outside where the base coat is. I'm just torching where my paint is for in the middle. Look at the heat shimmering off there in the sun. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, so I left a little bit of the paint's gray, and I am just gonna go around the edge even though at this point this is overkill I just want to ensure that it definitely moves smoothly okay so this is not going to be very very much tilting most of this unfortunately is going to be tilting some of this off but I've got some nice green in the center now so that's kind of cool just going to go off that way Let it come back since my table is moving this way anyway i'm gonna let it do the work and spread itself out resettle itself and i'm gonna go this way again very sparkly i need my sunglasses <laughs> what to level it out oh no it's all right okay come back to the middle again and I'll that corner. You 
kind of want to do this fast because this stuff starts to sell as you can see. I'm going to go up this edge. this side too. Even though I do love that little gold stripe that was there. Let's get that green off. Come back. There's still a little bit too much green on the bottom there for me. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, okay. And our cells are starting, which is perfect. Okay, so now this is the important part, I think, for making those cells on the edge. Right now, the weight of my paint is in the middle. I just tilted this this way. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to tilt it up high towards me kind of fast to get that edge to stretch and then just go back down and go back to the middle a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Stretch this out and you can see these cells starting. I want this more than that. So I'm going to let this stretch a little more and come back. And I think I dribble paint across the top of my canvas when I showed you. Ah. Okay, I'm going to take it off just a little bit. So again, we're going to go this way quickly and let this top cell stuff sell up and stretch out. I think I'm going to take a little more of that green off at the bottom too. I don't want too much green on there. I like this the way it's going. I'm going to wipe my hands up so I don't do that again. Now I'm going to do the sides, so the weight of my paint is where? It's kind of down there at the bottom. I'm going to stretch that side again. Now my paint is in the middle. I'm going to stretch this edge. There's already all these cute cells starting here, so I'm going to encourage them by stretching that paint out a little. I don't want to lose this, so I'm not going to go off the edge. I'm going to come back this way. I wouldn't mind taking this drip off. I'm going to let that go. And some more of that green. Choose this a little too much. Yeah, these have all spread out now. Now we're going to go back this way. There we go. Cool. Right down to the middle. Alright, so all along the edges now, I'm getting these lovely little tiny cells, which I like a lot. So if you see me tilting, that's what I'm doing is just stretching those to encourage them to grow. Just a little bit. Well, they're still the small. Once they're big, now they're big enough for I'm going to sit it down and let it go. So this is the 24 karat, no, not the 24 karat, I'm sorry. This is the DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in soft gold, not the 24 karat gold. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish there was a little bit more cells coming up in the green. Oh, I haven't even torched it yet. <laughs> well, I torched it once before. So when we torch it, I expect some more cells to pop up. I'm not going to torch it a lot. My paint is probably already starting to set up now. And the wind is definitely helping. These are beautiful up here, though. that. I'm going to walk around the other side and look at it from your point of view and see what it looks like. Now let's see if we can't get a little bit closer in. I can't really see which I think that's the center you're looking at. Let's see if we can go up just a little bit. Those edges are pretty. Focus. Focus. I just got paint on my screen. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back to the other way. Let me see if I can take you down without breaking anything. There we go. Oh, I did it. Okay. All right. See how that was beautiful. It almost looks silver. That soft gold. There we go. Now you can see them. 
Mm -hmm. So see, once they start, don't touch it. So thinner paint is good for your base coat and for the backgroundy color that you're gonna have. Those are beautiful, that little edge right there. That is cool. Very pretty. I really like that soft gold, it's gorgeous. There's that Arteza Kurt Violet and the Viridian Green and the Thalo Blue are beautiful. This part's really pretty. Very galactic. And this, I don't know if you can see that purple ring around that gold cell. Very, very, very pretty. Okay. So this is the way that I was looking at it. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. I will take some more pictures and see you guys for the next one. Have a great day. Bye.